when I give some of my students a question like this, they often look at me as if to say, Kevin, what is the question? Like, you're giving us this, but what do you want us to do? And what you need to remember is that this symbol stands for sum of. So it's actually asking you to calculate the sum of the sequence. So you need to go find term 1, term 2, and term 3, just to work out if it's arithmetic or geometric. To find term 1, you start with whatever number is over here. That number does not have to always be a 1. So you'll plug it in, and that's going to give us negative 1. Then to find term 2, you are going to be, be careful here, you must always add 1 to this. Now if you add 1 to that, it actually becomes 0. So then it will become 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 1. And then you add another one, so it'll become 1. So it'll be 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. So it's definitely an arithmetic pattern. We're adding 2 each time. So we can use the arithmetic formula. Now, guys, if you've looked at some of the previous questions, you'll remember that this number is not always the number of terms. To work out the number of terms, you take the top minus the bottom, which is this bottom number here, and then you plus 1. So the number of terms is 20 minus minus 1 plus 1. And so that actually becomes 22. They are 22 terms. If that caught you out, don't worry, it catches a lot of people out. It's because when your teacher explains this to you in class, they always make this number at the bottom a 1. And so it makes you think that this is the number of terms, but it's not true only sometimes. And so now it's just a matter of filling in, so that's just going to be uh, 22 terms. A is term 1, which is negative 1, 22 minus 1, and the common difference of 2. And so we end up with a final answer of 440.